Misconceptions about engineering, I think the first thing that comes to mind is always a man. You need to have physical strength. But I would say that there is also a part on social skills. End of the day, gender is not really in my equation. This is Chen Yi. She's a mechanical engineer who incorporates sustainable thinking in what I do. This is a day in the life of me. Wouldn't be surprising to find Chen Yi on DBS's rooftop or really at any of our other buildings as part of a job involves her finding ways for the bank to be more sustainable in our operations. That includes reducing our energy usage. Today, she's showing us the solar panels at our office. You can put in the most energy efficient equipment. Upon project completion, you get the most energy efficient state of things. But how do you ensure that this continues in the entire life cycle of that building? We are a very forward-looking organisation. We're trying to go into, you don't even need to use energy. You don't even need to create waste. But how do we get there? How can we build the most energy-efficient server room? Come, let me show you to my desk. Oh, look at this. Lord of the Rings names for all the meeting rooms. Will we expect that for engineers and DBS? I don't know. Checking my emails. Have fun. Wish me luck. <laughs> Every morning, I take the shuttle bus to work. I reach office before 8.30. My day is typically filled with meetings, project discussions. Because when you want to roll out sustainability initiatives, it's not the sustainability team's decision. We have to work with so many different stakeholders and that also includes, you know, engaging our DBS employees. The success of all of this actually stems from the cooperation of everybody. She's been an engineer for over 15 years and she's worked on quite a few projects, maybe some familiar places that you may know. Changi Airport, Terminal 1, had a part to play in this Ancon environment that you're in, so... Thank you, I appreciate it! I've worked on Supreme Court of Singapore, Sentosa Golf Course, the Singapore Sports Hub, Mandarin Oriental. How did all these experiences prepare you for DBS? First, it gave me a lot of exposure. I get to see how different buildings operate, and I hope to also share that knowledge across. In the past, I'm always on the downstream of a decision to execute a certain project, that was awarded to us. But now more or less transited to the upstream side of things where I had a chance to actually influence. The Little Ferndale, one of our self-service banking branch, we have the contractor on site today. We are going to do some adjustments to the line levels. Yeah, go down to 10%. Please. Let me see yes. from outside. Sustainable operations can be simple, like adding occupancy sensors to dim the light based on demand. We're trying to establish what is the most sustainable level that we can go to, which is actually comfortable enough for our users as well. For example, you want to buy jewellery, you need really bright light to right, show that. Right, right, right. But if you're doing banking, you really need that. So, so that's what I'm trying to understand here. I just got back from lunch, me to get back to my work. For my round two of meetings, four to go. Let's get started. And what advice would you give to women or individuals who want to pursue engineering? So it just happens that engineering is in the male-oriented sector of things. I think the most important, regardless of profession, it is always about an interest. If, let's say, you have passion for engineering works, go ahead and develop that strength. Take your time to fill in the gaps. Nothing can influence you but yourself. And I think you can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Any secret fun facts about the job? Can I see? <laughs> <laughs>